Hello. I've had a bit of a rough day. Yeah, got home from work today, found the kids playing with pepper spray. I thought, this is going to end in tears. <laughs> it's not the first time this sort of shit's happened either. Uh, but come on before, and they've been having a fight with the super glue, squirting everywhere, it's all over them. But I left them because uh, it's nice to see them bond. <laughs> uh, wife and I have been together quite a while now. We've, uh, got a big day coming up next week. It's a 13 year wedding anniversary. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I've been doing a little bit of research into uh, traditional gifts. And uh, for 13 years, the traditional gift is something lace. Something lace. So I've been and bought some shoelaces. <laughs> Can't wait to get her in them. <laughs> uh, so no doubt she'll get her own back on me for that. So she'll have me doing some, uh, some DIY around the house. It's not my forte. It's not, it's not my strong point by any, any stretch of the imagination. I've been... Uh, so I've taught myself really using YouTube, uh, and tell, it's a fantastic learning tool. I'm telling the kids all the time, lads, if you can copy these guys on the internet, you won't go far wrong. <laughs> Just thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really, really funny bit that. <laughs> and, uh, but there's a subtle difference between the guy on YouTube putting a curtain pole up and and myself doing the job at home. Uh, the main difference is that when I put my curtain pole up, you better not touch the fucking curtains. Because <laughs> if they come down, it's on your fucking head. <laughs> so the trouble is, when I get my drill out, <laughs> when I get my drill out, <laughs> I always end up with holes that are too fucking big. That's the trouble. Another example of this was last year. We had a knock through from the living room into the dining room. I was only supposed to put the fucking mirror up. Where's the fucking wall? <laughs> yeah. But um, I do persist with it, I persist with it, and uh, I've got the uh, kids' shelves up in, in their bedrooms. Uh, solid they are, solid level as well. Got the missus to come and check them, like the fucking man from Del Monte when she comes in. She has a look, gives me a nod. That's great, I said, I fucking told you I could do this job, I told you. And she looked and she said, yeah, you've done a good job here. But one swallow, doesn't make a summer. I said, yeah, you're right. It'd make my fucking year. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, DIY, not, uh, not my forte. I'm more of an academic, really. And uh, I, thought, I thought I was more of an academic. The, the day I picked up my exam results, I opened them up and had a look at them. And as I was looking, I thought to myself, who's the smartest guy you know? And they all said, you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, yeah, a uh, bit of a change of subject. Um, uh, yeah, a bit of a change of subject. Last year, uh, sort of December time, back end of last year, I, I had a vasectomy. It was a painful operation, yeah, ouch. P painful operation, not very comfortable, but there was, a, there was a light side to the vasectomy. Like, after five or six weeks, to make sure the procedures worked okay, they let you have a wank in a cup. And I thought this was great, because usually I like, wank in a cup at home. <laughs> it's, it's usually frowned upon. <laughs> so I wanted to embrace the opportunity. I wanted to take the opportunity. And I waited for the wife to go out one night. I waited for the kids to be in bed. And uh, I cast some material from the phone to the television. Just as I was getting comfy, lo and behold, one of the fucking kids walks in. And I'm struggling around to try to get my phone. I can't find, I can't turn off, it's too late. He's seen it. He looks at the telly, he looks at me. I look at him and he says, Dad, if you can copy these guys on the internet, you won't go far wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all for me, okay? Thank you, cheers. <laughs>